and hello and welcome to the Spiritual Wisdom Hour with me, Victoria Cochrane. I've had a couple of weeks break and am pleased to be back with you all again today on Spiritual Events and Directory uh, for my Spiritual Wisdom Hour. I am just getting comfy. I'm hi Annette, lovely to see you. Um, I am in northwest Tasmania and uh, up in Wynyard and uh, coming to you live. And uh, so in my spiritual wisdom hour, I talk about stuff and uh, things that uh, have to do with spiritual development, take you through meditation, do a bit of healing, and then we do readings uh, at about mm, 12.30. So uh, I always like to do my blurb first and then get into readings. Hi Shakti, great to see you. Hi Jasmine. Hi Cosmic um, Amalia Foronis. Wow, lovely to see you. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I've had a little bit of a lurgy, so I've had a um, few days off. But I'm okay and... Uh, Looking forward to going to Melbourne next week to seeing uh, my family. So, all going well. Hello, Louise. Lovely to see you as well. Um, howdy from Texas. Blessings to you. Blessings to you as well, Diane. What time is it over there? It's midday over here on Wednesday. So, you're probably in Tuesday somewhere. Hey, C. Lovely to catch up with you. Hi Cheryl, great to see you and welcome to you for the first time. So for people who don't know me, I am a psychic channel and a spiritual healer. Hey beautiful Melissa. Oh thank you. Um, 8pm on Tuesday. Oh that's not too late, that's a good time. Yes, well I've had a couple of weeks off um, and just needed a break and just thought I really need to come back. Because I missed it. So I've been missing you guys and uh, coming online. So here I am. And uh, I am a psychic channel, a spiritual healer and a tutor. Um, I'm ex actually an ex-teacher. So uh, retired in 2018. And uh, I read energy and I do cards and things like that. But I also teach about ascension and uh, raising our vibrations to make the world a better place. And uh, I've also, I'm also an author. So I'll just do a quick promotion of myself, which is um, uh, just to let you know that uh, I have four books that are available online on Amazon. Uh, Booktopia and all online booksellers also on my website which is victoriacochran.com and these are the first two um, that hi Diane um, that I channeled in 2012-13 about ascension and raising our energies hi Sam hi Tracy oh thank you Tracy hi Gabby great to see you Oh, so great to see everybody jumping on. Hello, Deirdre. Lovely to see you for the first time from the US. And Leanne. Oh, great. Oh, I missed you guys. Um, thank you. So these are just basic, uh, easy to read information about uh, soul journey and uh, our connection in oneness uh, without the need for religion. Of course, you know, um, if you need religion, that's fine, but there's no need for religion. And it just talks about uh, our relationship with uh, our soul, with Jesus. Um, it just talks in easy language and they're very loving. Um, this one then was a bit of a change of tack. Um, that's Messages from Other Worlds and talks about uh, how other worlds live in oneness um, and synchronicity and then this is my favorite and the most recent hi Deborah great to see you and this one is I've got a 
tissue in there because this is the meditation I'm going to take you through today um, that uh, talks about lessons from Mother Earth and how we can learn from the synchronicity of Mother Earth and integrate um, those things into our lives and every chapter has a meditation that I recorded and a friend of mine put to music for me which I bought royalty free and at the back of the book there's a link and a code where you can access all the meditations from my website on a secret page and it's $24 and I just if you have trouble with meditation or you're just wondering what on earth is going on in the world then this is possibly a good book for you to have um, so uh, the chapters kind of talk about the first the first set of chapters talks about our karmic journey our soul journey oneness and has a similar tack to the other books hi Kelly I'm fine thank you I hope you are too um, then the second set of chapters, the second section talks about Mother Earth and how nature, um, what's happening in nature can represent or reflect what's happening in our own lives. So like the ebb and flow of the ocean is like the ebb and flow of what happens in our life, that there are patterns all around us, that we can... Um, we can sit in the stillness like a mountain and hold the energy and that kind of thing. Hi, Michelle. Um, that's great, Kelly. Yes. Yeah, so, and then the last one, embodying your spirituality, does talk about the things that have been going on uh, recently with uh, the pandemic and uh, Black Lives Matter and all those things and how we can rise above all the drama and actually still maintain our sovereignty and how we can send healing to Mother Earth. All we can do is work on ourselves. Thank you. Sharing would be wonderful because I will be doing readings in about 20 minutes. So um, please share um, because I'm also going to take you through a meditation. I like to do that um, just if people need healing um, a bit of grounding and uh, so the, the one that I've chosen today is meditation 19 rebuild self-love and feelings of worthiness and the way we feel us about ourselves impacts our world and the world around us thank you Marie um, because if we're not feeling um, love for ourselves or worthy of love then we can be very hard on ourselves and we create a world that is negative and we put that out to others and hello Robin thank you so much for joining me and everyone so great to see you here um, I'm a big believer and talker about how we create our own reality uh, Archangel Michael talks about that all the time um, and every thought creates. So I was just rereading a channeling that I did um, a while ago from Archangel Uriel to um, a client this morning who's working with me. And uh, Uriel says, if you can imagine the universe just as a blank sphere and you sit in that sphere and it's just a loving, beautiful place to be because all there is in the universe is love. On the first, on my third book, the underlying force be, behind the creation of the universe is love. That is all there ha ever has been and all there ever will be. And so if you're just sitting in that beautiful bubble of love and just being, and it's all pure white, and then as soon as you start to think, bring a person in, a situation in, the colours change. And the intensity of the colours reflect um, the, the intensity of the situation or the thought or the memory. Hi, Sammy. Great to see you. Just gave you a hug yesterday. Um, looking forward to lunch tomorrow. And the nails. We're getting our nails done tomorrow. Um, so we actually create, every thought creates, thought creates form. So... If we think we're no good, we'll believe that and we create that. 
uh, if we think we are worthy and that we can change our reality, then we will do that. And the universe will deliver to us what we believe and think. So it's really, really important that we do work on our self-love and uh, our sense of worthiness. Because if we don't feel love for ourselves, how can we love anyone else or expect others to love us? And that's the big question. And then that creates a world where people are trying to maybe put other people down because they don't feel good enough or um, there's a lot of negativity flying around and it impacts other people and the wider world. So because we're all one, we're all one and the same, we're all connected, um, we don't just kind of affect our little bubble. It all ripples out. So very important and all we can do is work on ourselves we can't work on anyone else we all have free will and there's the law of non-intervention and we can try and help other people but if they don't want help then we can't do anything about that so all we can do is just be the best we can be and work on ourselves so i'd like to take you into a meditation um, that's called rebuild self-love and feelings of worthiness and then I'm going to pull some cards for the collective and then I'll begin readings. And if you could share this so others can participate in the meditation too, that would be awesome. I'll just have some water. Really important to be hydrated. Um, and thank you, Jasmine. 99 stars. That's beautiful. Thank you. So here we go, if you just get yourself comfortable and feet on the floor or lie down or sit on a cushion, however you like to meditate, focus in on your heart space and breathe consciously on a slow count of four breaths in and four breaths out, visualising light building in your heart space until it has totally surrounded you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pushing the light further out around your body each time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Push the energy down and grounding into Mother Earth. Breathe in and breathe out. See those little light roots coming out of your feet. Grounding into Mother Earth, keeping you safe. Remaining aware of yourself grounded to Mother Earth. Continuing to breathe in and out. And also being aware of yourself present in the chair or on the bed or on the floor. Watch as the light around you turns pink, enveloping you in a cloud of unconditional love. Continue to breathe in and out slowly until you see, feel or imagine yourself sitting on a thousand petaled white lotus flower surrounded by the beautiful pink light of love. Slowly the lotus flower comes up to fold around you until you are totally encased in it. At the same time the pink light of love is absorbed into your heart space, filling your chest with the most beautiful feeling of love, of being loved, of peace, bliss and oneness. Now, Bring your focus to the areas of your belief system about yourself. 
can you say, I love you to yourself and believe it? Can you look into the mirror and not cringe? Can you accept who you are and where you are in your life? Do you feel worthy? As you breathe, choose one of the questions and focus on it. Do you love yourself? Do you love how you look? Do you accept who you are? And where you are in your life? Do you feel worthy? Just choose one. Bring your aware awareness to the colour green that is surrounding you now, which is Archangel Raphael's presence. I am here to help you to shed the negative feelings you have about yourself. All you need to do is to give me, Archangel Raphael, permission to help you to learn to feel love and acceptance for yourself and what it feels like to feel worthy of being loved. Say it now. I give you permission, Archangel Raphael, to help me to learn how to feel love and acceptance for myself and or to feel worthy of being loved. The lotus flower now becomes angel wings, gently cradling you as your heart, mind and body are healed with my green light which is filled with the unconditional love of the source of creation and underlit with the pink colour of love. Continue to breathe in and out. Feel the energy change as you say, I love and accept myself or I am worthy. Over and over, until it sounds and feels more believable. You may feel a release from one of your chakras, your energetic bodies or from your physical body. As you continue to say, I love and accept myself or I am worthy. See or feel the beautiful light of the creator into your crown and flood your body with the beautiful, warm feeling of unconditional love. Stay in this space until you feel completely calm and relaxed, breathing in and out, feeling the beautiful light around you, warm and safe and protected. As the angel wings unfold and the lotus flower is again underneath you, bring your awareness back to your surroundings. Give thanks for your guidance, protection and abundance and stay still for a moment in the feelings of love bliss that will remain with you for the rest of the day. Repeat this meditation as many times as you like to strengthen your self-love and acceptance. I am yours in love and light, Archangel Raphael. And that is one of the meditations that I've channeled in my book, The Book of Life, Lessons from Mother Earth. Thanks, Gabby. They're really, some of them are, well, they're all lovely. Um, but there are 25 of them, so uh, there'll be ones that really resonate with different people. And, uh, you know, when I was writing it, um, it was, okay, well, all the other books have information and 
uh, will resonate with people, but the meditations are a way of embodying the information and also of releasing what doesn't serve you anymore. And so um, thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Annette. Hi, Laura Lou. Lovely to see you. Yes, I will be getting to readings, um, but I hope you enjoyed that. So all the books are available from my website, but online. Um, you can get them as ebooks as well. And please share uh, this video. And if you do have the books and you've read them, please share them. I really would love you to do that. It's so important for me to read the messages. You know, I I accept. I, I really think it, it that is the most important thing. You know that people are made aware of what's available and uh, that. Uh, all you need to do is give permission and help is there. Thank you, Jasmine. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Thanks, Melissa. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Casey. So before we do get on to individuals, let's just uh, do a three-card reading for um, all of you. And today... I have chosen, or maybe they've chosen me, one or the other, um, the uh, Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. And I love this deck because it has um, higher arcana cards like in the tarot, but then it has the bodies. So the cards deal with the mental body, the emotional body, the spiritual body or the uh, physical body. And uh, they just give a different perspective. So this is for the collective. So this is for all of you. Um, and I'm just asking that it be a reading for the collective for your highest and best. Um, to, for guidance that applies to everybody. So that you can find something to resonate with. And they all just fell out. <laughs> so how easy is that? And there are four cards today. The first one is Sacral Chakra and this really, uh, this really is just perfect because this is the seat of power. The Sacral Chakra is how you feel about yourself. Okay, so self-love and self-worthiness. So wear orange, use the orange energy to strengthen how you feel about yourself and your self-love and worthiness and uh, that's perfect. But can you see that it's surrounded by orange, uh, by yellow energy? And the yellow energy is the solar plexus, which is our seat of power and how we, uh, how we embody our strength and uh, how we feel about ourselves in, in relationships with others. And so if we're out of whack in our sacral, we'll also be out of whack in our base chakra and in our um, solar plexus chakra. So very important. Yeah, it's a great deck. Um, so using the orange and yellow energy to strengthen your self-love. It's very, very easy to, uh, to think the worst about ourselves and we can do that just in in just one thought of like I'm hopeless or you know gee I look fat in that or you know I, I reckon I I won't go because they don't like me and we we just uh, yes Maria we'll get onto that in a minute um, we really just muck ourselves up uh, when we when we think that and we can lock ourselves in to a pretty limited belief system sometimes. So really be careful of how we choose our thoughts and based on our emotions, you know, this is the emotional body, we can really either give away too much energy, block others altogether, or just scatter our energy or just kind of go, kind of um, be all over the place. But when we really find our true north and keep grounded and, uh, and meditate and just are aware that we do create our own reality, then we go forward. 
Um, and the last one is firm foundation. So strength in all things. In our back, our back gives a, our back is about support. So if you've got a bit of a sore back, how supported are you not feeling? So and look at the mountain too. It's like you are the you are the foundation for your own health and well being. What you think, what you're creating, uh, will then um, create the foundation for what you create in the future. So uh, really, just grounding in how worthy you are, um, that you are enough, and that if things aren't going well, perhaps there's a reason for that and trusting, but also asking for help. Ask the universe. Ask the universe. So that's for the collective. So thank you to those who have been sharing um, this video. And I would love for you to share. I, I just really... Um, the aim is to help as many people as I can, you know. So uh, let's do that. Olive, I would love a reading today, Victoria. I'm feeling quite stuck and could do with some guidance, please. Absolutely. So there's been a few uh, people asking. Yeah. So, all right. Well, let's keep using these cards because I really just really love them. But they're by John Holland. You can still get them. And they're just a bit different to the normal tarot. So they're kind of oracle tarot. They're not kind of, you know, traditional tarot. But they do have the major arcana cards, the black rimmed ones, which give uh, guidance and are um, significant messages from spirit. So I am going to just flick around and choose people. Um, Maria Christina Rocker. I'll just choose a card for you. And if I don't understand it, then I will um, tune into you as well. So if you're asking for reading, I'm taking it that you give me permission to tune into your energy. And sometimes I need to do that if I'm not sure exactly what it means. And I will get through as many people as I can. But remember that um, it's just a snapshot. Um, if I can help you in any way, please look me up. Uh, victoriacochran.com I'm actually starting a series of workshops around the state of Tasmania but I will be bringing them online um, in around June so watch out for that and also I'll be offering um, some meditation sessions um, at a very minor cost um, later on when I get my act into gear which won't be for a few weeks Okay, so this is for Maria. Triumphant success. So you're moving past the worst, uh, the worst, and this is mental body. So and it's a one. So whatever you've been going through, you've actually you're just about um, you've just about uh, achieved. Um, achieved what you wanted to achieve so can you see like the that you're cutting away all the cords of the past and all the all of the angst and the worry and everything and bringing the light in so swords represent truth because the, the um archangel michael has a sword that cuts away um illusion i always say you know cuts away the the crap <laughs> but um swords are thought swords are uh, air so it's like thought and what we think so uh grounding in your new uh way of thinking grounding in your new belief system and bringing in uh positivity and uh new beginnings because it's a one so that's an awesome card, Maria, that you are uh, on the right path and don't give up because you're almost there. So uh, whether you've had to use your words or really just work hard at uh, being patient and um, believing in your own truth, 
you're getting you're getting there and you're nearly there so uh, number one is like new beginnings so just keep going because you're rewriting your future in a very positive and guided way so that's beautiful okay so uh kelly coulton it is an amazing card these are beautiful cards and i don't use them enough to be honest um they also have chakra cards in them as you saw so they're really wonderful and in the book uh, he explains what each number means um, and what the colors mean and that kind of thing so uh, you know it's really quite comprehensive um, number one beginnings initiation leadership self courage and willpower so that's exactly what I read for Maria. So Kelly, here we go. And uh, thank you for sharing this video and for your interactions. Um, it's just wonderful to be back. So next week, I'll be in Melbourne. I fly out early um, and I'm staying with my son and his partner. So I'll find a quiet space at, um, at 12 noon and I'll still be online. That's the plan. Anyway, so this is for Kelly. I'll just renew the energy. Ooh. Okay, just dropped a few cards, so I'll just use those. I'll just do a dive out of sight. Oh dear. And I'll and I'll shuffle these. No problem. Throat chakra, you need to speak your truth, Kelly. You need to uh, stand in your power, speak your truth. And if you're not feeling heard or not feeling that you can say what you need to say, you can ask Archangel Michael to use his sword of truth and the Blu-ray to help you with that. Um, I'll just tune in. There's a lot of emotion around you too. So sometimes it's really hard to speak your truth when it's full of emotion and then it comes out the wrong way. So grounding, um, cutting ties, making sure that you're, um, that you're just taking the emotion out of it um, before you speak is... Uh, Write a letter if you need to, or do it in a different way. But you need to be heard, and uh, you're being guided to do, to do that. Okay. Okay, so Gabby, let's do a reading for you. Um, Someone says, yes, I'm so right. That's great. I just, because I need to scroll right down. Um, and I will get to as many people as I can. Kelly says, I'm so right. You're, wel you're welcome. Um, yes, so, yeah, so this is for Gabby. <clears throat> Heartache and loss. Okay, so I need to tune into you for this one, if I may, um, Gabby. It's mental body, so it, it's like you're putting limitations on yourself. I see you in a bit of a triangle that cuts you off at the head. And so, um, and I'll get the word friendship. So whether you've got um, 
things going on in your friendship group that could be misunderstandings and it's really causing problems. So it's in your solar plexus. So that is to do with relationships and it could be that they're blaming you or you're blaming yourself. But don't forget that we're all vibrational and so the way we think uh, causes um, us to react in a certain way and to um, the way we interact with people comes back to us in that vibration. And some of us are vibrating higher than others. So we have a higher consciousness. We think differently. We are a bit more open-minded. We're more forgiving. We're, and some people aren't. And so that's why friends fall away. And it is hurtful. But also it's, um, it, it's really important that you maintain your vibration and don't go down to their level. So... I would encourage you just to send them love and but to stand your ground because uh, you know when we can when we are always compromising our values or just allowing people to um, blame us for things or um, dump everything on us then, we um, we lower our vibrations too. So I hope that's helpful, Gabby. Um, Libby, you know, just see your name here. So um, and time goes very quickly. So I do apologise if I don't get to you today, but I'll do my best. <clears throat> so Libby. The waiting game. Uh, this is spiritual body. Purple is spiritual body. And there's a lot of growth. Uh, a bit of growth. But a lot of grounding to be done. So more understanding to come in. It's a two. So let me just tune into you Libby. And just see what this might mean. There's a lot of green around you. Uh, I feel like there's been a lot of healing uh, for you. And within that, a change in spiritual understanding about yourself and others. But it might not seem like there's much movement or anything happening. But actually there is. If you see, there's just... Uh, Lots of grounding in and lots of kind of um, embedding of different information coming in. And the growth might not seem like it's much, but it will just take off. So I would really encourage you to meditate and to take time to uh, work on your self-love and worthiness and also to connect to your guides and to actually let go of anything that's holding you back spiritually. Um, hopefully that's helpful. Um, just going to Marie Taylor. Hi from Toowoomba. Hi. Um, hi Trudy. Yes, Marie, I'm doing a card for you now. Um. Okay. Uh, power. Um, this is an eight, and it's the infinity symbol. And this is a, a message from spirit for you to take back your power and to use it. Uh, to for leadership and strength but in a compassionate way <clears throat> so whatever's going on for you uh, marie taylor uh, it's very important that you call on 
your guides to help you to deal with things in a compassionate but powerful way. Um, I do see that people are impinging or a person is impinging on your uh, free will and time and putting a fair bit of pressure on you and it's coming in on the masculine side. So you have a lot of uh, heavier energy on you and you need some boundaries. You need to uh, set some boundaries and uh just just explain that you can only do what you can do and uh, it feels uh, very uh, one-sided so that card is is telling you that it's time for you to speak up but uh, in a nice way but in a very assertive way and it will work. So all the best. Cheryl Groves. Uh, yes, I can tune in to you. Nice to meet you. I see a lot of emotion on your right side and then kind of disempowerment on your left. And I, I do think that uh, a few people are, uh, either your job is very, very demanding or your family life, one or the other, but a bit of solitude, <laughs> a bit of meditation. But see how she's holding a book. And one page is written, but the next page isn't. And so this is uh, very much about your belief system. It's a nine as well, which is a beautiful spiritual number. Um, if I look at that too, it's kind of like, uh, and the dress is blue. So there's been a lot of mental stress and a lot of strain, a lot of being in your head, a lot of... Uh, just life is very stressful. So really it goes back to that meditation of rebuilding how you value yourself and your time, how much energy you're giving away, but what are you expecting from the future and what are people expecting from you? Just stop, lock, ground and think about uh, the present. Because we worry too much about the future and I kind of feel that you just need to really just ground into to who you are because you're giving away so much of yourself, Cheryl. Um, so it's like this next page needs to be different from this one. What can you change that creates a few boundaries but also allows you to have a life? Um, outside of everyone else that's demanding things of you. I hope that's helpful. Um, Gabby says it's more friendship with yourself. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Siobhan, um, could I have a relationship reading? Okay. Uh, Siobhan Denon. Um, Okay, so um, this is the Empress card, Fertility. So um, now is the time either to get pregnant or to, uh, to change the state of your relationship 
or non-relationship, whatever. But I just need to tune in to you. I do see a man there and he's got your back, he's, but he's like in the shadows. It's almost like he wants to be there with you, but you're um, not ready or you're not certain, um, but he is there with you every step of the way. kind of feel that if there's any anything going on in your relationship um, it's like what this says it's you just needing to open your heart to love and trust and that um, to know that he is always there for you so um, a three a three is celebration and uh, so I I your relationship doesn't quite feel equal, but it, one of you, and I feel it's you, uh, Siobhan, just needs to um, let some hurt go or something. Um, hopefully that's helpful. Um, and... Um, Laura Lou. Oh, just jumped out. Base chakra. Laura Lou, um, how abundant do you feel? How secure do you feel? Um, are you um, lacking vitality or, um, or are you feeling a bit depressed? So you need some work on your base chakra just to ground back into who you are and uh, touch base with Mother Earth and... Thank her for the abundance, also the universe, and uh, just reground and resettle. Um, so that just flew out, and it's a one. So just take yourself back to basics, ground, um, and tune into uh, the abundance of the universe and gratitude and all of that. Well, you've recently had a baby girl. She's 14 weeks. Okay. All right. So I did wonder if you if you were a mother um, or having a baby. Um, so that's celebration. But, uh, yeah, so that's okay. That does make sense now, whether your partner doesn't feel like he's being included. And that can happen after you have a baby because you're so exhausted. Um, I've had three, so um, yeah, just allow him to to um, you know take the baby sometimes. And but uh, congratulations, and it does get easier. Well, I can tell you that right now. Um, thank you. I just need to go back to uh, hi Tracy. I'll see how I go, but um, I'll I will do what I can. But Jane says she feels like she's going under, so let's just respond to that first. Um, and that's no good. You probably need a clearing. And uh, are you in Tasmania? Because if you are, but if not, I still do. I do lots of work online, on video calls, Skype, uh, what WhatsApp. And uh, I can send energy from anywhere. So, you know, if you really feel like you're going under, please give me a call. You can pay into PayPal or something. And it's uh, it's not expensive, $65 for half an hour. Um, and I could rectify your energies enough in that time. So just please don't feel that you need to go it alone. Okay.
um, but I will just tune into you, Jane. You've got a lot of heavy energy around you. It looks a bit like depression. Uh, it's like you're carrying the weight of the world on your head. It's not on your shoulders, it's on your head. You very much need a grounding and a clearing. If you can get somewhere to have some Reiki or something, Jane, that would be very um, helpful. Um, definitely need to go to the doctor, okay, because I see a lot of depression and clinical depression is really difficult to uh, get past and I've had it, I've been there, I tried everything and I did need to go on tablets for a while. Um, so please go to the doctor and uh, get some help that way but also if I can help in a private session please don't hesitate to contact me um, also just calling on who's with you to help you uh, you've lost a bit of connection to them you feel pretty disconnected but it is Archangel Uriel and you're not seeing clearly either so call on Uriel and lots of people are sending lots of caring and love to you and so am I and um, make sure you get that help and if you need me call on me okay um, Lisa I'll just call I'll just do a reading for you Memories of love. So it's a six. So you've possibly lost someone and it's been a bit difficult. This is the emotional body. Or a relationship's um, broken up or it's just been hard to get over a loss of some kind, whether the person's passed over or not. Um, but it will get easier. I just need another card to help with that. Yeah, heartache and loss and transformation so i'll just tune in to you i think it's the best thing to do um, you have a lot of connection coming through your crown so someone in spirit is definitely connecting to you um, and sending you lots of love and perhaps you've been dreaming about them lately or just remembering them um, but also there's gold energy there so Lisa you have um, just seeing who it is Archangel Gabriel is there with you so please connect to Archangel Gabriel and ask for help um, to uh, clear the past and clear your energies and to move forward. Um, because the transformation means that uh, more understanding is coming in too. So... Uh, a bit of a chakra clearing would be helpful for you, I think. Um, so, oh, Tracy says, Victoria's really helped me with everything and she's a godsend. That's so really wonderful. 
Um, okay, quick card for Tracy. Thank you. Um, Tracy, trapped in fear in your mental body, just really do your best to breathe, live in the moment and not worry too much about the future because it is blocking you still. And uh, just know that when we trust and when we ask the universe for help, that will happen. So the next card is, oh, there we go, Deception and Envy. So you do worry a lot about stuff, but your husband's always there to help you and just really bring in that beautiful light and just know that, um, yeah, actually your cup just... Your cups are, are filling and everything will be fine. Just really just, he, I think he, he grounds you a lot. And um, so just, um, it's not like steal his energy, but just trust in what he says and um, trust that everything will work out for you. Um, Trudy. My husband has been disloyal. Will I ever get past this or will I be moving before end of lease? Mm. I am so sorry to hear that. Trust is a big thing, isn't it? You know, once you've lost that trust. Fulfillment of wishes. So a nine is like completion and it's... Um, So your emotional body is shattered at the moment, but at the same time, now you have uh, the chance to either repair or to move on. So if you're having trouble getting past, past it, then perhaps you need to um, have some space away it's really interesting card to actually pull out because it's like there's a it's a treasure chest there so why was he disloyal and you know thinking of it from both sides it's an opportunity to now repair whatever was not right you know and if the two of you are meant to be together you'll be together and if you're not you won't and it's an opportunity for both of you to learn your lessons and move on but it, it takes two and it's like bringing it together to repair um, you know and make sure that you do work it out um, if you do leave that if that you repair the relationship before you do so um, so even though it's been hard I kind of feel there's a lot of blessings in it and that Perhaps you won't leave. This is a beautiful, beautiful card, Trudy. So uh, let's see who's with you, though. Archangel Sandalphon. And Sandalphon helps us to step into who we really are and to embrace our gifts. Um, and uh, also just to uh, be able to see perhaps where this might be leading um, in, an, in a positive way. So ask him for help um, and do some meditation and some reflection. Um, but I kind of think it will work out for the best whatever the best is and I wish you all the best too um, thank you Jordan yeah he was disloyal to fulfill that addiction mm. so he needs healing and it's not your responsibility to do that but perhaps it's come to a head now so that you can help each other I don't know but I, I do wish you well. Um, Sam, could I please get a card too? Okay. I will have to go soon because I haven't had lunch and I've got a client at 1.30. Um, okay, here you go. Oh, 
trapped in fear. So I'm pulled that to for you too, Sam. So it's like you've got some limitations on the way you're thinking about things, but also see all those big hole windows. You can climb through those easily. So an eight is uh, quite often things are maybe coming to a bit of a standstill but it's also the infinity sign so just trust and hold your space but the next card is you know there's a bit of a hiatus going on uh, but just trust because maybe it's time you know if things aren't going well with your business or something's kind of stopped it's time for you to have a rest and just a break but things will move forward soon so don't worry about it it will all be okay and Jordan who shared hi Helen um, look I am out of time so I'm just going to call um, do one more card and I am so sorry if I didn't get to you um, I will be back next week from hopefully sunny and slightly warmer Melbourne but it's not always the case is it um, here we go, this is for Jordan. Fertility. Jordan, now's the time to make your dreams come true and to put your plans into action because uh, with intent it will be and uh, you are a co-creator and very powerful. So just really hold those positive intentions. And Helen, because you're there... Um, on meeting your future partner. Mm. Um, yes, he does need healing, but he won't get it. I know. That's a trouble. Oh, and cosmic. Um, okay. Uh, Helen? Mm. Well, if you meet someone like that, that'll be all right, wouldn't it? I, a four is like it's already happening. So you will. Um, it, it's just divine timing is uh, always frustrating. Um, but it's almost like it's just written. So I'd say four to six months. But... Uh, Really just trust and thank the universe for bringing your future partner in who is for your heart, who is your twin flame and for your, um, you know, is the one um, for your highest and best. And cosmic recognition and reward. So well done. This is physical body. So all the hard work you've put in um, is now coming back. So whether it's in your work um, or in the way you've been looking after yourself, whatever, um, it's now coming in. So uh, you can, you know that you're going to be acknowledged or acknowledge it yourself and then keep building on it um, and make sure that you do give thanks for everything that you have, even if you haven't quite got to where you want to be. Um, so lots of love to you all. I must go and have some lunch before my client comes at 1.30. Uh, I am Victoria Cochrane. You can find me at victoriacochrane.com and I will see you next Wednesday. Lots of love to you all. Bye for now.